Hello, we are here. We're back with Suzanne Goes. How are you, Suzanne? I'm good. So excited to be here. I'm glad we get to talk. I miss yeah. you. Well, so we love your Spanish classes over at the co-op. And of course, we're so glad to have you back for the spring semester. Yes. Um, so for folks who may, may not know about your Spanish classes, kind of tell us all about it. First of all, you are the creator of Flip Flop Spanish. Yes. Spanish Geniuses. So you have, you know, so much knowledge and teaching skills, and we're just so glad to have you at the co-op. Well, thank you. It's it's super fun. I love it because you know I told you last last semester. So anybody that saw the last last time when we were on Facebook Live, I said the same thing. But it's true. I couldn't figure out how it would work with flashcards because with little kids, the best thing is to show them a photo and then tell them the word. And I, you know, when you're talking, yes, you have them. And the ones that you made, yes, I did not think that would work. But um, whenever I saw Larry Joe's uh, little field camera and I thought, oh, I can do that. So I just put the, you know, you can't see it now. I'm not going to switch over to it, but we put the flashcards down on the desk. And by the end of the semester, not even, I mean, it's like into week seven, I'm flipping through these and the kids are just boom, 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 boom. And they're seeing it and they're saying it and they're building sentences. And I just love their energy. And it actually works better. I have to say it works better on co-op on this, the plenary than it does in real life. It, I'm amazed. It's because, you know, they can see they're, they're attentive and they're not leaning over somebody else. They have it there on their screen and they each get their chance to say their words. It's really great. I've been so pleased. And that's why I'm back. I, I was like, I don't know if it'll work. We'll try it for 10 weeks, but I don't do things that don't work, which is why we have Spanish geniuses, which is why we have flashcards. If I had found something that would have worked, none of this would have existed because I would have just, right. you know, I was trained in the public school to, follow the curriculum. Yeah. And that's what I was going to do for my own private classes. But then it turned out there was no curriculum that worked. <laughs> so yeah. I made one. <laughs> yeah, you're a woman after my own heart because that's why the plenary is here too, because there was stuff that I wanted for my homeschool that didn't exist. Right. So I said, we'll just make it. <laughs> we'll yes. make it happen. And then your husband, probably my husband was like, baby, why don't you share this with, with other people? I was like, yes. How, how would I do that? And then he told me how. And so here we are 15 years later. <laughs> yes. Yes. To, to, to benefit others. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, because what you create helps other people. And that's just like the bonus on top of everything, you know, we're right. helping others, but know your classes, see it and say it with flip flop Spanish. It's so true because of the little flashcards and how it works online. And my daughter and I took your class. Um, and it's so much fun. It is. It's a lot. We of had fun. so much fun. Now, I will say that because life happens, we didn't make it to all the classes right. <laughs> live. And, and same um, with us with Plutarch. We tried to go, and then yeah. same thing. We weren't able to make to all of them, but we have the videos, so that's great. Yeah. So the recorded classes are fabulous because if the life happens, you can go back and watch the recorded class, or you know if if kids wanted to just review or because the lesson was so fun, they wanted to do that again, <laughs> they can because it's there. Right. Or if they weren't quite ready, you know, we had a couple that were really like high achieving students and then they didn't get time to practice their cards beforehand or they didn't get a chance to print out their homework or whatever it was. And so they weren't quite ready. And so we were going through the words kind of fast. And, um, and so that way, they can study their cards and then go back through that that portion of the video and they kind of prove to themselves, yes, I could have kept up. I just needed, you know, really just one more time through the flashcards and they're ready to go. Just a little bit of a reinforcement. They can yes. rewatch that video. I love that. Yeah. So I'm super excited because this time we get to talk about. So last time was basics, you know, um, pencil, pen, book, um, you know, colors, we did colors and numbers and things like that. And so if you missed last time, it's okay. We're not going to build on it so much. You know, it's not like, oh, you don't know colors and numbers. You can't do it. There's still new words. And I, I will absolutely end up throwing in some colors, but we're not going to be focusing on them. And so it's not going to hurt you to not know your colors and numbers. You're, you're going to accidentally grab them. And then this time we get to talk about, um, you know, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? And then what do you want? And so we'll be able to ask each other, what do you want? I want this. I want that. So simple as like, this is, I want, quiero, la sal. 
And then later we'll add in verbs. Quiero leer, I want to read. And so um, just like the Charlotte Mason ideal, we'll be putting in, I want to read the book. I want to buy the book. I want to write the book. I want to find the book. And so we're gonna be changing the verb, but the beginning and the end will be staying the same. So we're building on those nouns and really creating complex sentences with just changing one word at a time. I love that. So yeah, so the first class that you did in the fall was um, the green cards, yes. right? Verde, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one is azul. Azul. Mm -hmm. The blue ones. So, right. um, so people can go back and take the Verde class, the be the the nouns primarily nouns right. class, right? Mm -hmm. um, if they wanted to, because it's all pre-recorded and it's all there for them to go at their own pace, and they still get access to you. Yes. Because because of the forum, we have the private co-op forum area that they can still ask you questions and, you know, that right. sort of stuff. Yeah. So they have access to the teacher. Yes. Um, but, or they can take the live one for this semester, which is um, Azul. And um, I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going to ask you if it was any sort of prerequisite at all. Not at all. So, no. So people can just jump in. Yes. For so this class and not have to take the first one. Right. You you can zero knowledge is okay again. So the idea is always x plus one. So wherever you are is x, and we're trying to go one level up. And so that's the beauty of the flashcards because it's just one card at a time. Truly, of course, we're hitting six cards a week, but yeah. at the moment, you know, the child is focusing on the one card. You know, la salle, and then we go back to it and we say it again and again, and then you're building a sentence. So the Verde set, the green set last week or last semester. We're like, I like, I don't like, lots of opinions. So that's a good, students always wanna give their opinions. And moms, we like to give our opinions. This time it's more about what we need and what we want. So you're gonna build on it. If you have the old flashcards, you're gonna end up using them accidentally because you're gonna say, oh, I wanna say that. Um, but this time it's more, it's more, it's just more of it. And so we'll just continue to build and build and build, but no prerequisite at all. We expect zero knowledge. We will start with the vowel sounds again. If you already know the vowel sounds, that's a short portion. It'll be a good review. If you don't know the vowel sounds, it's just to make sure that when you pronounce things, it's correct. And so we want to make sure we start with a good foundation. But that will be the only part that will be a recap. Everything else will be new, but you don't have to have it. So it's kind of the best of both. So what ages would you say is your class so I think last semester, uh, the four-year-olds uh, couldn't quite stay for the full 45 minutes. You know, we did 45 minutes to an hour. If students wanted to keep going, I kept it going, which was typical. We, we usually went all the way to the hour. But um, I think four was a, a little bit young, but he still hung for a good 20, 20 minutes, you know. And then he's like, okay. And the mom's like, okay, that one's out. And she can bring them back and watch the video later. But ages five and up, if the child's motivated, I think they can do it, you know? So, and then all the way up to, I'd say 13 and 14, you know, all the way up through high school. It's fun. It's not too slow. You're going to grab what you grab. So. Well, and for us moms too, yes. because, you know, like I said, my daughter and I took the class and I emphasize I took the class because I've, I've never, ever picked up spit. I've always had trouble with Spanish until your class. And let me tell you, I learned more Spanish in the very first class with you than I have ever learned in any other class, really. I don't know oh. what it is, but something clicked in my brain in that very first class. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, That's so good to hear. That's that yeah. Charlotte Mason method, you know? Yeah. It's well, the saying it and then saying it. I mean, it's why I call it that. <laughs> But it's also your teaching skills. There's something you, you're okay. a great teacher of it too. Um, but, but you know, my older brain um, takes a while to to process that new language. So yeah. So, but I I'd say it's good for moms too. Definitely. Right. Right. So the children totally grab it with the picture. They see quiero and they got it and they don't need anything to review. For uh, after puberty, we really like the one to one translation on the other side. We want to see the Spanish. We want to see the English and then that phonetic spelling. And so a lot of times the moms are going to be flipping it over because our brains aren't as pictorial anymore. Um, we're not thinking in pictures as much. And so we do need that that, you know, confirmation of, OK, I'm saying it correctly. It is what I think it means. But you do, your brain learns 
how to learn. And so those first couple of weeks are definitely difficult um, for our older brains. And the yeah. kids, they get them super fast. Oh, so. she was running rings around me real quick. Yeah, she had it all. I was like, how can you remember all that? I'm like, ah. I know, it's something about it. And then plus, we want to know why. We always want to know how and why, and we kind of complicate matters. Yes. And the younger students are just, that means that. Oh, this is how I build a sentence. Good, go. And, and that's why it's so great to do at a younger age. And it helps us with memory. As we get older, it will sharpen our memory and our wit skills by uh, rebuilding those synapses. So yeah. people that learn a second language after puberty, we improve our minds in all the different ways. It's not just about language. Yes, keeping those brain cells fresh. Yes. That's good. Um, it's mother culture, right? It's mother yeah, culture. It is, absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, oh, let's see, what else was I, was I going to ask you? Um, you're, so we had such great reviews of your classes, and I'm sorry I don't have any. I should have brought them to read. <laughs> they were really funny. That was fun. The yeah, kids were, yeah. you know, they were, in, they were energized, and I think it's because, you know, just learning something that they're not used to learning. You know, it's, it's a subject that's completely different than literature, science, and math. It's, it's a code for them, and there's not really any way to fail. It, there's nothing that they should already know. So there's no expectation out there. So it's all it's all learning, it's all fresh. There's nothing they can do wrong. It's just, you know, fun. Well, and I wanna go back to the fact that you said that it actually worked better online than in person. <clears throat> and, you know, for moms trying to implement it, implement foreign language study in their homes, sometimes that can be really, really overwhelming, daunting, especially if you don't speak the language and you're trying to learn it as well. Right. So yeah. this is just such a simple, easy way yes. to get that in and be successful at it and have fun at it. And it's just like, it's just a win-win all the way around. Yeah, I, we do have some people that have bought the whole curriculum, the see it and say yes. it set, where they're listening to the audio, they're doing the flashcards at home, and, and that is enough, but it's so nice to say, oh, we can actually sit back completely for real and with her here live with us, yes. talk us through, and, and just, it's just an affirmation of, yes, you're doing it correctly, yes, that does make a sentence, and so it's another, um, another chance to really drive home the language that you're like, do I... I think I know it. I think I got it. And it's just, it's just a great, another layer. Plus it's so fun. It's just nice to connect. <laughs> it's so great to connect. And that's another part of the co-op, the, the whole community aspect and um, getting to connect with other moms and students to students and students with teachers. It's just been so, so wonderful. Yes. And we're so thankful to have you as part of the co-op. I'm, I'm so excited. It's very refreshing. It's just so wonderful to be held accountable. And then they ask those hard questions, uh, but why is it this way? And I'm like, you know what? I should put that in there. And so I like the sharpening of giving me ways. So whenever the next edition comes out, I have notes now from yeah. more students, you know, students that are new and yeah. I haven't had that question yet. And so it's another test bed basically to make sure that my curriculum continues to be the best it can for all the homeschoolers across the nation. So it's 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 really a benefit all the way around for everybody involved. I mean, you can't fail with relationships, you know? Yeah. And, you know, our um, our special needs consultant, Amy Bodkin, she, she's always talking about how the student builds the relationship with like handicraft materials and stuff. And in your class, you know, they're building relationships with language. Yes. And then as Charlotte Mason says, that language acqu acquisition helps you build relationships with other people. Yes, and it's that, to help them see beyond yeah. our culture here and now. It's There's yeah. more to the world than, you know, our tiny little place in Texas or yeah. wherever they are. And that was cool at the end where I just kind of sit back and they all talk, you know, the kids all talk to each other from across the nation. I think it's it's a huge benefit to say, oh, other people in Florida, in Washington, in Minnesota, they all homeschool too. Yes. That is a benefit to these kiddos. And they're just like me. Yes. And, and they're fun and we can chit chat and be friends. Um, you know, yeah, it's been fabulous. So we love the co-op, we love having you. And so, um, 
people just need to head over to the website, sign up for your classes. Yeah. And classes start next Monday, the 17th. That's crazy. I, I know it is crazy that it's it's like, man, we're just jumping in. Here we go. 2022. It's yes. we're, we're here. <laughs> right. So ours is on Thursday. And then the only thing they need is to get the blue set. Um, I'll probably refer to some blank, some blanks, some index cards, but there it's very, very few this time. We're not gonna be drawing as many cards this time. So as long as they get the SOL set, then they're ready to go because we'll have the printouts. They can just print it week by week. And I develop those week by week based on the interest of the students that are in the class. So that's not something that I it's pre-done. It's it's done based on what ages do I have, what their levels are, what their interest is. And so I create those homework sheets based on my current live class. Right. So it's tailored to the yes. students. Yes. Custom. I love that. I love that, that we're able to do that. Yes. Okay. Suzanne, anything else that you wanted to um, touch on? I don't think so. I'm excited about it. And um, I think that, the, you know, now that I saw how it went, it's going to be even more fun. And I have a better, even a better idea of what to be ready for and how long to take things. Sometimes I went too fast, other times I went too slow. And so I feel like, oh, this, this semester is gonna be even better. So I'm really excited. You got it, you got it. All right, well, sign up for Suzanne's class over at the Plenary website. And um, let me tell you, Suzanne's class was one of the most popular. So go sign up now and get in before it sells out. So thank awesome. you, Suzanne, we'll All see right. you soon. Thank you, Rachel. Awesome. <laughs>